Good day, dear students. Let's learn English in easy ways. Today, we're going to tackle the variety of informative, persuasive, and argumentative writing techniques. These techniques are used by writers as an attempt to make the reader think in a specific way. These techniques can be used to inspire, persuade, or simply inform the reader. Techniques in informative writing Let's define first what is an informative writing. Informative writing is also called expository writing, where all information are based on facts and not on your own opinion. Informative writing has a purpose to inform, to educate the reader about the given topic, and not to convince someone to change his or her own beliefs. Now, let's have the techniques in writing an informative essay. First, prioritize the content of the text for the reader. Second, be factual. Third, be specific. And last, be clear, polite, imperative language. First, prioritize the content of the text for the reader. Start with what they need to know, then what they want to know. This contains information based on facts and not your own opinion. It enables your readers to draw their own conclusions. Be factual. When writing to inform, you should avoid biased information. You are simply providing the information based on solid facts to help them form their viewpoint. Be specific. Informative writing provides readers with key information linked to the topic, location, time period, process, and possible reason why. Here's a simple way to remember this. The four WH questions, what, where, when, and why. The readers are always looking for clear answers. To be specific. The more specific, the better your audience will understand it. The language that you choose to use when writing to inform should be clear, polite, imperative language, like when you instruct the reader about the directions in the text. Again, the four techniques of informative writing are Let's have the persuasive writing technique. Persuasive writing is used for many reasons. First, to help to sell products or services. Second, to convince people to accept a view or an idea. Skills that students often suffer from persuasive writing. How to acknowledge opposing viewpoints. Be aware of different writing styles. These are the different persuasive writing techniques. Flattery, opinion, hyperbole, personal pronouns, imperative compound, triples, emotive language, statistics and figures, rhetorical questions. Here's an example of persuasive writing. Can you please take time to read before we proceed?
Thank you for taking time to read. First technique, flattery. Example, a smart student like you deserves the best school. This is the technique where you write praises about your audience. Next, opinion. Example, in my view, you could make a smart choice if you study in this university. This is a technique where you write a personal viewpoint of 10 percentage as if it is fact. Third, implication. Example, this school will help you develop in many aspects that you need in your future career. This is the technique where you write the possibilities that can benefit the reader. Next, personal pronouns. Example, this is the key to make your future more successful. Many of people will be amazed to you. I can't wait this thing to happen. Next, imperative command. Example, hurry and enroll now. This is the technique where you ask a command from the reader. Next, triples. Studying in one of the best universities gives more advantages such as getting hired easily in good companies. Helps you to boost self-esteem and to be competitive in the world of industry. We need to write three points to support an argument. Next, emotive language. Example, there are thousands of students who failed to choose the best school for their courses. That's why they easily give up with their choice. These are the emotions that you are writing to make them feel. Next, statistics and figures. 90% of our students here agreed that choosing this university made them a right choice. Always remember that in persuasive writing, it is very important to provide factual data. Finally, the last, rhetorical question. Example, who doesn't want to be successful someday? These questions implies its own answer. Let's practice! Finally, argumentative writing techniques. An argumentative writing is more formal and academic. You must provide relevant information to make it valid and worthy to believe in. For example, in the title, Smoking Kills, you must provide sufficient evidences and relevant information based on credible research. First technique. Distinguishing argumentation from persuasion. Persuasive writing and argumentative writing are not equal. Persuasive writing, it is to convince the readers to accept the writer's idea as true by using emotions and personal ideas. While argumentative writing is to convince the readers to accept the writer's ideas as true 
by using statistics, facts, and figures. Second, in forming an opinion statement, it should be valid, acceptable, and relevant to make it best. Next, connecting with anecdotes. Though argumentative writing they emphasize emotional feelings, do not forget to consider the reader's human level, such as values, hopes, and interests. Then, the counter-argument. Never insult the writer when you are making objections to his or her own argument. Lastly, logical fallacy. From the word fallacy, it is a common error in reasoning that weaken the logic of your argument. However, logical fallacies is an effective argument that uses clear and logical thinking. Let's practice! 